Yo, what is up guys, Strats here, and I'm here with another tutorial for you, um, finally. I uh, haven't done one in a while, but we're going to get straight into it. It's going to be a sort of tips and tricks one, um, using effects. Uh, it's going to kind of look like this in the end. Uh, looks pretty cool, um, and it's all done in the effects uh, bit here. So, I'm just going to delete that. So, make sure you've got your background or whatever you're doing it on. I'm just going to use a shiny <coughs> silver one. Um, you can either use text for this or you could use your own logo. I'm going to use my own logo, so I'm going to go in here, copy that, and put it right on that. <coughs> a bit. And that will do. Now, we want to do next, depending on what color you want, you're going to go into effects and gradient. Um, what I show you you can just do in any color um, so just you don't have to follow the colors but yeah um, now I've lost what I was doing uh, yeah so you go in effects gradient overlay and then you get this bit here by clicking on there then click the first one which is black and change it to any color I'm gonna change it to gray and the last one I'm gonna change to a light light gray and click OK <clears throat> now we're going to go to stroke, I'm going to leave this one black, then I'm going to go to inner shadow, go to blend mode, and then click normal, go to the color, put white, and then opacity all the way up, choke all the way up, and distance zero. Then bring your size to about one or two, I'm going to put it at two. Now you've got that, you want to add a drop shadow. So go to drop shadow, <clears throat> go to opacity all the way up, blend mode normal, spread all the way up, and mess about with the distance and the size to get how thick you want it. Uh, there we go. 5, 100, 7. That's what I've got. And I'm going to change this black color to. Uh, change it to a dark grey. Now I'm going to go to the outer glow, go to blend mode again, normal. We're pretty much doing the same thing over and over again on each layer and it turns out pretty nice if you get it right. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go for red this time, I'm going to do green. And then spread all the way up and then size 1 or 2. Yeah, uh, pick two because the stroke overlays it a bit. <clears throat> okay, so moving on. Click OK. Now we've got that. I want to add a stroke around the drop shadow though, so I'm going to duplicate the layer and then Control, click, and then merge layers. So we've got one layer and no effects on it. Go to effects, stroke, <clears throat> and then add whatever color you had on the outer glow which mine was green there we go <clears throat> I'm gonna make that about one and go to drop shadow give a bit of a shadow behind it and <clears throat> there you go so that's the effect um, it's pretty simple, all done in the effects bit, which makes it even easier. And you can do it on logos, text, anything you want. Um, this was just a tips and tricks sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully more videos coming soon. So please like, rate, and do all that stuff. Thanks a lot, Strats.